here we are in the garage. It's kind of messy, but I've been doing a lot of things lately. The thingy in question is this Thane driver from a Function 1 BR218. Brilliant. By far the best bass boxes I've ever heard so far. I don't care what anybody else says. And yes, I'm a big Function 1 fan. Because they sound amazing. So the BR range, I don't know if you're familiar with it. I'll put a picture in this clip at some point. The BR range uh, comes from Bass Reflex, I think. Because as opposed to the F218s, which is the classic function on bass bin that are like scoop design, on the BR range you can see the driver. If you see the driver, that means there's short throw bass, as opposed to long throw uh, like the F218s or the other Fs. Fs. Um, I love these bass pins, man. They're, they're, they're genius. What happened to this is a mystery, and I'll find out now when I strip the cone out. Um, for some reason, this, this comes from a club in Birmingham called um, Sobar. So, in Sobar, upstairs, for some reason, these bass pins are on the ceiling. Maybe they did this to save space? I don't understand. It's weird to have the bass coming from the top. It's it's really weird. Bass is should vibrate on your legs and things, you know? You should have it down. It makes sense, you know, not in the ceiling. <coughs> now, I don't know if that caused this driver failure, but at some point someone called me to say, Chip, there's a rattling in this in this base box, in this base bin, can you check it out? So when I checked it out, I've concluded that there's something in here, hence the hole. So I did a tiny hole, put an inspection camera in there, and I saw this bundled up mesh of wires, and I'm like, what is that, man? Something came in through the vent holes, but they're not damaged, and the foam is everywhere. Here there's a mesh also, so I'm like, how the... F the only thing that I could think of is that that's the coil. Now obviously these are meant to run like that, but in said club they're like this. Now I don't know if it's a fabrication defect, but only one of the four drivers failed. This one. So maybe it was like a... You know, when you rewire the... Um, the coil you're rewiring it and lacquer it in the same time maybe the lacquer peeled off or some I don't know I don't know I'll see now basically after I took out all that bunch of I'll put a picture in a big bunch of wires like that I concluded that that's the coil that came loose and vibrated the fuck out of the, the driver itself so this is interesting I'm recording this because this is my uh, First ever 18 inch Function 1 Recon. Hey! I did many, 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 many uh, recons before. 18 inches, 16, 15 s all the sizes really. But this is interesting because it's from a current range of speakers that I absolutely love. Now, these drivers are made by a company called Fane. Before. The F218s were using Fain Colossus. This is a special type of Fain that I can't find anywhere. So, hence, I've called Function On directly and they sent me this lovely box with a recon kit inside it. <coughs> I'm curious to see if this recon kit tells me anything about the actual. the actual driver because the only marking on this driver is this 1447 and I've tried googling that no luck um, boy. and another marking on it is this Fane 50 years sound engineering blah blah, blah. 
which is the newer range of fans, they all have this badge on. Other than that, there's nothing on this speaker. It's a complete mystery. And now I'm gonna attempt to gut, gut it down and possibly clean it. <coughs> Tomorrow, put the new cone in and um, leave that, glue that in, leave it to dry, and then the day after, put the dust cap on, glue that in, leave it to dry, and only after that, this can go back in the box. Uh, like I said, I did many recons. And at one point I got too impatient and I've glued this in and didn't leave it dry up. Uh, didn't leave the glue to harden too long. So then when I fitted the, the driver in the base bin, I came next day to find that the, the dust cap was somewhere here. It just like warped itself down while somehow being stuck to the driver, it was like a complete cylinder made out of the glue. That was funny to to see. So I had to cut that out and then put it back in. So far, all my recones, 30 recones so far. None of my recone drivers have failed, and we're talking five years now. Five, six years, seven. I don't even know, but. None of my recons failed, so I'm happy about that. It means I know what I'm doing, or I'm on a good path, really. So let's start. I'll start by taking this shit off, one by one, like that, and like that. Now in older drivers, it's easier to take this thing off, because it just peels off with the paint and that that's easier but in a new driver I'll have to kinda hope that yes it peels off from the glue side which I think this one started to do yes sir thank you very much so I'll keep doing that all around the speaker and then I'll keep doing that for the spider which is this thing over here I've got a feeling this is gonna be a bitch to take out but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when when we get to it oh, this is easier than I expected really. it seems to be coming off like not in pieces which is great very good there we go the whole thing is off oh nice it came off to the paint wherever these things are left see this uh, residue here I'll have to clean it with <coughs> a sharpish chisel alright that's in here now let's cut these these lines. <coughs> I do have a proper cutter, but it's in my toolbox, which is in the back. Yeah, for this. So, side cutters, side cutters. There we go. doing with the spider is just sacrifice it because there's no other way with it. Just put a blade through it and cut around and then try and do what I did with the big cone. If I'm lucky it's gonna come out really nice. If I'm not lucky, there'll be a, a, a lot of cursing and uh, well, a lot of struggling, really. 
Now one thing that I didn't check on that recon kit and I hope it is there's two types of recon kits ones that come in one piece and another type which I hope it's not that is a type where you have to glue the coil to the cone glue everything basically and I hope it's not that because it's a bitch to center those wow this is interesting. Oh man. Holy shit. So that's the coil that was supposed to be attached to this. This was supposed to be way longer, you see. And it broke. Wow. I really wonder why this happened. Because ever since I've started managing that sound system, like one year, two years, one year ago, I think, I've limited it to a point where I considered it to be safe. That's weird. It seems like it broke from here, from one of these holes, and then it just carried on. Okay. This could be tougher than I expected, really. And the shit part is... Well... This... The rest of it is still in there. It's gonna be a bitch to clean this. Uh-oh, -uh, it's coming out, it's coming out. I wonder if there's more to this. Oh shit, man. Alright, let's try something. I'll try cutting this. I'll try just taking it out like that. If I can. I believe there's two versions of this uh, driver. One is neodymium, and another one is um, this. So the old school one is normal ferrite, I think, magnet. <coughs> and the newer version is the neodymium magnet, which obviously is nicer because it's lighter. I wonder if I just cut this and then pull it out if it works. Let's see. That seems to be the edge, I think. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's broken. So then, that's the only coil left in it, I think. Come on, bitch. Get out. Potentially gonna be a nightmare. Ah, or not. There it is. Man, it's completely fucking shattered. Man. That's pretty weird. Didn't I affect this really? Alright, now to take the spider off. Let's see what's going on here. Now, like I said. The spider can be a pain in the ass to take off. And this one is no no different. Now what I can do is slice it and see if I can start from here to peel it off. So far so good. Man, what the hell? So this is the insulation of the copper. Interesting. Very interesting. 
very interesting. What's very interesting is that the other drivers are perfectly normal. There's no noise in them. I've listened to them very attentively after the, this incident. Really. And there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm guessing it might be a fabrication issue. This. Anyway, we're going somewhere. It's good. It's good. I'll bring the vacuum. So, for the big reveal, yes, it's one of them cones that it's a one piece, which is great. I love it. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, man. That means I only took out like this much. Um, shit. That means there's still loads of coil left in the magnet, which sucks really. I wonder why this got. Why has it got this thing in here? Here we are, a couple of days later. With the pain slash function on driver. I couldn't wait, so I had to I had to put the cone in. That's how it looks with the cone in. Now I removed that <coughs> round surround, if you remember, because the cone came with its own surround, which is brilliant man, because it makes things easier when you clamp the spider down makes things way easier when you clamp the spider down. Before on normal drivers that didn't have this ring, thank you Fane, I had to come every hour and push it back in, push it back in, no matter if I had the clamps or not. And now we wait for it to dry. 